five free agents Arsenal could sign to make up for transfer window shortcomings. Arsenal still have time to add reinforcements after a disastrous January transfer window. The Gunners were unable to make any signings of real pedigree over the course of the month after as many as seven deals collapsed. The likes of Dusan Valhavik, Arthur Milo and Alexander Isak slipped out of Mikel Arteta's grasp, and their squad is even more depleted than it was when the window opened with as many as 14 players leaving the Emirates in some capacity. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's exit on a free transfer to Barcelona means Arsenal only have two out and out no point nine seconds at Arteta's disposal, Alexander Lacazette and Edin Kataya. Arsenal might have been unsuccessful in terms of adding players in January, but they still technically still have one more week to make another transfer. Arteta's options are extremely limited with the window closed, however, which means the Spaniard will likely make do with what he's got or go down the route of free agents. Here are five the Gunners could turn to make up for their poor recruitment last month. Will Arsenal regret not signing a striker on deadline day? Comment below. Arsenal reportedly opened talks with Atletico Monero last month over a move for Diego Costa with the former Chelsea striker looking to make a return to Europe. They approached the Brazilian club to find out about the players' plans for the immediate future after the director of football Rodrigo Catano revealed that the Spaniard had expressed his desire to leave the club after the Brazilian season ended. Costa has now left Atletico MG, but has yet to find a new club. Catano broke the news that Costa wanted to leave Brazil and return to Europe, something Monero accommodated as they knew this was a possibility when they signed him. He said, the reasons given were adaptation, personal issues, when he goes to that side, there's not much to argue about. He stayed with us until the end, he was a very important piece, athlete competitive. He was afraid of this long period, that he stayed in Europe, he made it clear that at some point, if he didn't feel comfortable, we could make an agreement of this type. We accepted the request, and we are building the best agreement for all parties. We appreciate his delivery in this period with us. It is very likely that he will not stay with us this season. From the sides. Jack Wilshere seems an obvious choice, since he has been right under Arsenal's nose for months training with the first team. Mikel Arteta has poured cold water over offering him a deal, but that was before the Gunners failed to secure a playmaker in January. It remains to be seen what level he is operating at, but there is no denying his ability if he can stay fit. Wilshere would also relish the opportunity to play for his boyhood club again, and it should be fairly simple for Arsenal to agree on a short-term deal until the end of the season. Laurent Koscielny is another fan favourite Arsenal could turn to. The defender is currently without a club after leaving Bordeaux at the end of January. The French stopper previously spent nine seasons with the Gunners, and whilst his best days are behind him, he could provide cover for the likes of Ben White and Gabriel. Arsenal are short of two centre-backs after January as Callum Chambers joined Aston Villa, while Pablo Mary joined Udinese on loan. Bafatimbi Gomez is another option at the top end of the pitch for Arsenal, after he was released by Saudi Arabian side Hilal in the closing stages of the January transfer window. The former Swansea City and Lions striker might be renowned for one of the most iconic celebrations in recent football history, but he still has plenty of ability. And there's no reason why he couldn't see him perform it in an Arsenal shirt if he is given a short-term deal by Arteta. Quadwo Asamo is one of the most successful players available on the free agent market. He won six Serie A titles, four Italian Cups, and three Italian Super Cups during a trophy lot in six years at Juventus. The former Ghana international who has 71 international caps then moved to Inter Milan in the summer of 2018, only to depart the club two seasons later and join Cagliari. He is now without a club after only five months with the Serie A 